Hi everyone, just going to give you a bit of a wrap up on um, how the rest of the semester is going to play out. So we, we're definitely meeting next Sunday and Monday. Um, ideally there will be another meeting between us before the portfolio review. I still haven't gotten a date for the portfolio review, I was kind of waiting for that, but it's usually around the 15th, I think it's the 15th. So we're going to have two more meetings, in other words. And so the rest of the semester for us is you finishing up your website, uh, portfolio PDF, and then I will give you a rundown of what's going to happen at the portfolio review, just so you'll know how you're going to be using the website and the PDF at the portfolio review. So first, website. Um, if you don't have a website, get a website. The Usually you can get a free one. I've spoken about this before in the semester, so you should have some kind of an idea. Behance is a good one. Uh, Adobe Portfolio is a good one. Keep in mind, if you you'd use Adobe Portfolio and you graduate and you don't have a subscription to Adobe anymore, it'll disappear. You could get a free Wix one, uh, which, is, which is pretty good. Squarespace I love, but you do have to pay for it. It's not that much. I mean, it's like 110 bucks a year. However, um, for the purposes of the portfolio review, any old thing will do as long as you have your nice online presence prepared, organized, branded. So you're going to put your, your logo on it. You can have sections, um, or you can have sections. You can have graphic design section, uh, photography se section animation section, video section, UI, UX section. You can divide it up any way that you want, but if you, you're pretty consistent, like if you just have advertising, then just have one advertising section and that's all you really need. So that's the website, Behance. Behance is a good way to go just because the industry likes it. I don't like it. Nobody who uses it likes it, but the industry likes it. So for the PDF, I'm going to switch over to my screen so I can show you and talk you through uh, one or two of the kind of nicer portfolio PDFs that um, I've had in this class before. So here's the title page. This is Marisol's uh, very simple type treatment. So it's her branding, it's her name, and then it tells the people looking at it what it is. It's a design portfolio. Here's Richard Campbell's portfolio. Again, his logo, his name, what it is. This is Siobhan's title page. It's got her branding, her colors, her wacky type treatment for her name, and then what it is. It's a portfolio. So then we have Ariana's cover, and she's done this kind of cool texture in the background with the shades of blue. Got her logo, got her name, and now she's given herself a title. Graphic designer. Now, you can give yourself whatever title you want. You can be UI UX designer, graphic designer, web designer, illustrator, or illustrator slash graphic designer, however you want to put it. But it's probably a good idea not to say, like, Ariana Baez Studio, because that makes you sound like you're a business as opposed to an independent um, individual. So they might not want to hire you because they think that they're hiring a studio, you know, commissioning a studio rather than making a hire just for a particular job. So then we get on to the pages inside. So you've got a caption that describes the project, and then you've got a nice big sample of the work. Don't put too many elements on a page. Uh, make them nice and large so it's very easy for people to see them. Spread it over a couple of pages. Make it nice and big. Don't try and cram everything onto a page. Book. Nice and big. You can see the cover, but it's also in quite a nice mock-up. And here's the caption that explains what it is. Nice big sample of a logo. Lots of air and space around it, but it's still very large. Now, this is kind of a long description here, but it's a senior project. So I suggest that people say senior thesis project because they may not know what a senior project means. 
that the minute you say thesis, they know exactly what you mean, that this is the big project of your entire educational career. So then for senior project, you can have a lot of pages and show it off. So now here she has um, some typography class projects, also beautifully presented. Only include these if they're really good. Type projects tend to be a bit studenty. It's kind of, you know, the first year of uh, design school, you do typography. But this one looks really slick. And she's also mocked it up beautifully. So I say yes. However, I would put it at the end of your portfolio, not necessarily towards the beginning. Now, what she has here is the web design. She's got a lamp here and a flower here, which I think are not adding anything. They're, in fact, if anything, they're distracting from the design. So I would leave that out. And here you have up here a link to a prototype. You can do this. You can do this also if you have like a presentation. You have like a 25-page presentation. You don't want your portfolio PDF to be filled up with all those pages and pages and pages. But if they're really interested, they could click to a separate PDF that shows all that stuff. So you get the picture. You, you want to have the title. You want everything to be big and clear. You want to have a mock-up. Any way you want to organize that is good as long as people are not confused by what they're looking at and they can see the evidence of your creativity. But the portfolio review is taking place in Manhattan. And it's, I think it's at the headquarters of a corporation whose name I can't recall, but it actually might change. Um, and you turn up, you dress up for an interview, you bring your portfolio. Now you can bring your portfolio on a tablet, like an iPad or something. You can bring it um, on a laptop. They'll probably have computers there, but if I were you, I would bring your own backup because that's what it's like on a real interview is that you want no possibility of them not being able to see your portfolio. Now, chances are these days that most interviews will be over Zoom, at least the first ones will. But I think eventually they'll want to meet you in person. So you want to be the person that's responsible for making sure that if their internet goes down, you still have something to show them. So you turn up, you look great, hey, have your portfolio in some form, you have printouts of your resumes, you have business cards. And there'll be a bunch of professors there, there'll be a bunch of industry professionals there, there'll be some snacks and you go and you sit at tables and people come around, sit in front of you, they're very nice to you and they look at your portfolio and they give you feedback. And the difference is here is that you're not applying for a job. What you're looking for is feedback and you're getting it from people that aren't me because you've been listening to me all semester, hopefully talking to other people too, but you wanna hear how other people are responding to your work. So as you upload your work to your website, put it on your PDF, make sure everything's perfect. There are no typos. The, the, nothing is too small for people to see. Nothing is so big that the, you know, it gets distorted or the resolution in the photo is crappy or um, it just looked crammed on the page. Make sure everything is nice and clear so that everyone can see it. This goes for the web and for the PDF. And so when they sit down, you look them in the eye and you shake them by the hand. It, like I said before in the interviews thing, um, they sometimes they make up your mind, their mind like in the first 20 seconds whether they want to talk to you. So make sure you make that connection. All you, it doesn't mean you're, you're going to get the job. It just means they're not going to turn you down because you're like, oh, I don't know. Hi. Even if you're shy, pretend you're not shy. Shyness doesn't get rewarded. Shyness is something you deal with once you've got the job and you're getting to know people. Then you can take your time. But on an interview, you kind of want to put yourself out there. Make sure they know that you're the person that can do the job. Anyway, so portfolio review is lots of fun. 
and I wish I could be there. I used to go all the time. Um, it's uh, it's no pressure in the, the way that a job interview is pressurized. Um, but sometimes people get internships. Um, uh, some some very occasionally people get jobs from these things. If you do run into industry professionals and you make a connection, you give them your card, they can look at your website, and in their time, because of the QR code that's on your, your um, business card, make sure you link to them on LinkedIn and start supercharging the, your network building. Anyway, sorry about this late video. I was really hoping to get more information before I put it up. Okay. I just checked my email and it turns out um, that I did get an email on Friday, which was lost in the complete garbage can of City Tech uh, email server. Um, but yes, we do have a time and a date for uh, the portfolio, portfolio review. <laughs> um, I'm going to post it on Blackboard and Facebook. And the reason that it's a rush is because it, it's so that you guys can make time to turn up. Um, th you'll be scheduled in half hour slots and I'll, I think it's basically the afternoon, sort of 12 to three. So you can start thinking about that now, but check for the actual date and time and hours on Facebook and, uh, Blackboard and, um, we can get this organized. And once again, I'll see you on Sunday and Monday.